if I have enough gas, I want to try to do. When I first came to know the Lord, I had a red, if you can picture this, my son Greg keeps reminding me of it. I had a red pork chop, thin body electric guitar. I had it before I came to know the Lord. So, and I sang it for songs that were not for the Lord. After I came to know the Lord, I started singing and playing that guitar for him. So every place I go, I would tell them, this guitar is red, that means that it's washed in the blood. <laughs> and it only knows Jesus songs now. So I, have, I started out playing the guitar for a long time ago, and this is one of the songs that uh, I did. If I have enough voice less out left, I want to try to do it for you. It's called Five Rows Back. I like songs that tell a story. This one tells a story. Oh, I really wasn't one for going to church, you see. But I went that night somehow in spite of that. They assured me in with a warm and friendly smile. And five rows back, I sat. Five rows back, I remember it well. The story of Jesus I heard. about hell and I listen from five rows back now the words of that preacher man were like airs of burning truth they reached my heart as he spoke so earnestly he told how Jesus suffered, how he bled and died, and he did it for a sinner like me. Oh, the choir was singing just as I am. I knew I was lost. My life was a sham. I came and was washed in the blood of the Lamb from five rows back that night I came. Oh, what a change. Things are different now. Peace and happiness fills my life. Jesus walks and talks with me each passing day and I know that through the years of time and through eternity I'll not forget the night that my sins were washed away oh the choir was singing just as I am I knew I was lost and my life was a sham. I came and was washed in the blood of the Lamb. From five rows back that night I came. From five rows Praise God I came.
While you're standing, keep standing. I want to sing the great Baptist anthem, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. I want you to help me with it, okay? Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was down to the last song and in case you didn't know the songs that we sung tonight basically were those that were like my favorite songs over the years I have trouble doing that because it seems like my favorite song is the one I'm singing at the time or the one that I just sang you know what I mean but these were some of the choices of my favorite songs and I saved in my mind the best one for last the power of the cross. I started a long time ago, Glenn. One of my classmates back in Tennessee Temple in the late 1800s, <laughs> Glenn Mormon, sitting over there. And uh, we started out together. And both of us like to tell people about Jesus. And we have told them about him over the years. And I like to, I look back and I know how powerful the cross of Jesus Christ is. Paul said it's by the foolishness of preaching that people are saved. And it's not foolish preaching. It's foolish to the world, but it's not to us. To us, it's the power of God under salvation. And this is one of the great songs I've ever heard, The Power of the Cross. We're going to sing it for you in closing.
Praise the Lord, huh? Wow. God 
has been very good to Faith Baptist Church. He has given us good gifts, and two of the greatest gifts he has given us is standing behind me, Pastor Jerry and Shirley Smith. To God be the glory. I know his voice is worn out tonight, but I'm gonna tell you something. He's mentioned this word retire. He's not retiring. <laughs> You're not allowed to retire. It's not allowed. I'm gonna tell you something. There is a song in his heart that he has been singing for many, many years. Some of you know this and some of you don't, but a long time ago, a long time ago, Surely got saved first. And then a man, a godly man, came to his house and finally opened the Bible with him and showed him the way to salvation through God's word. And that man got saved. And you know what his greatest gift is? Is not music. It's evangelism. It's evangelism. And you know what he does? He goes to hospital rooms and people's houses and people come to his office and he opens the Bible with them and God has given him a gift to lead them to Christ. And he's been doing that for years and he's gonna continue to do that. And he's not ever gonna stop until we get to heaven. And along the way, we're still going to get to hear him sing. And you know what? He sings with young people. He sings with tall people. He sings with short people. He sings with old people. It is amazing. And he sings all kinds of songs. And it's truly been a great blessing to all of us. I'm going to ask Pete.